Welcome to Lessons in RxJS Mastering the Operators. My name is Jordan Powell, and I am a Senior Enterprise Software Engineer at Brebug. Today, we're going to talk about the RxJS Operator Retry. This RxJS Operator retries the source observable a specified number of times if an error occurs. If we look under the hood, we see that the retry is passing values to the observer until an error in the source stream occurs. In the case of an error, the operator will resubscribe to the source observable instead of passing that error to the observer. Once the specified number of retries has been reached, the error will be rethrown. Retry is most commonly used when we need a simple way to retry HTTP requests in our application. With all that out of the way, let's look at a real life example of retry in action. Let's make an HTTP request that we want to retry for three times before returning an error. Let's create an Angular service that will inject Angular's HTTP client in its constructor. Next, we'll make a method called get all customers that will make an HTTP get request in our third party library and return a list of customers as an observable. Because we are using a third party API and instability is both possible and out of our control, we want to retry this API request three times when it errors before throwing an actual error in our application. This is particularly helpful when an HTTP request is historically unstable or has a slow response. Let's look at the same example, but using an NGRX effect. To do this, we need to create three unique actions, get customers from third-party API, get customers from third-party API success, and get customers from third-party API fail. Now let's create a new Angular service called Customer Effects that will inject NGRX action stream and our third-party API service. Then we'll create a new effect using create effect where we will pipe into our action stream and listen for the actions of type get customers from third-party API. Then we'll use exhaust map to call our third-party API dot get all customers method, which returns our list of customers as an observable. The map operator will then map successful results to our get customers from third-party API success action. When the service fails, we'll use catch error to dispatch the get customers from third-party API failed action. Finally, we'll add retry. Though fundamentally, this example using NGRX effects accomplishes the same thing that the first example does, we are now putting that responsibility in the hands of an NGRX effect. This gives us the flexibility to use retry in some instances and not in others. It allows us to easily change the number of retries at a per use case level. One thing to be careful of when using retry is to be certain to give it a count property as a number. This defines the number of times the stream will retry when an error occurs. Without a defined number of retries, the stream will retry by default an infinite number of times. It is also important to note that if you want to retry the stream only in certain cases, you will want to use the retry when operator. Check out the repeat operator when you want a similar behavior to the retry operator, but for non-error instances. Hopefully this video has given you an understanding of how the retry operator from RxJS can manage errors in your applications when using observable streams. Make sure you check out some of our other lessons in RxJS. I can't wait to see you in the next video.